the power of Grayskull. <laughs> Let's get in television working on your Wii console so that you can play Masters of the Universe and some of the other great games for this console. Let's get going. Alright, this is an emulator that is uh, pretty near and dear to my heart. I had an Intellivision. Uh, well, my friend had it, but all I did is go to his house and play it, so I practically took it as mine. <laughs> but uh, this is a very cool emulator. Intellivision really gave Atari a run for its money. And uh, unfortunately, Atari won it out, even though Intellivision had better graphics, because it was about three years after the Atari 2600 when it came out. Uh, but uh, anyway, so you want to get these games back up and running. You want to play them on your Wii first. You want to go to weebrew.org slash wiki jzintv Wii. Okay, this is the website where they host the emulator. Um, I'll put a link into the description as well. So go ahead and download the emulator and save it. You know, so go ahead and open it up. All right, so you get your emulator right there, the boot.doll. You want to put all of these underneath your apps folder. So we're going to copy that, go to the G drive, and in the apps, paste it right in there. Then what you want to do is go ahead and under your, the root of your SD card, go ahead, well, if you're using USB, you guys know what I'm talking about, USB or SD, the root, okay? In your root folder, you want to make a, uh, a directory so that you can actually hold your JZ Intellivision uh, Wii ROMs. So make a folder, uh, JZ INT VWII, and you can spell it however you want. You can just put Intellivision, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then just make a folder called ROMs. So, quick little recap just to make sure everybody's on the same page. Once you download your Intellivision emulator, go ahead and put it in the apps folder. Ah, not Neo Geo. <laughs> put it in your apps folder. And uh, one of the things I like to do is I hate when they do upper and lowercase because then when I go typing the path names, I forget which letters uppercase, which one's not. But I'm trying to reference them inside of WeFlow. Uh, which we'll get to next. Anyway, so uh, I like to keep them all lowercase. So do what you want, but that's just me. So that's under your apps folder. You put your extracted folder in there after you downloaded the emulator off of Webrew. And then on the main folder for your ROMs, go ahead and create another folder with the same name and put a folder in there called ROMs. So now, let's go get some of the classic games. And television was known for its sports games. So let's grab a couple of those, okay? All right, guys, there's one other thing that you gotta do, and you have to get the BIOS files. Excuse me, I'm gonna zip these up, make sure that you can actually get them, uh, and just download them. The link will be in the description of the video, okay? All right, let's move to the next step. Anyway, so now that you have the files, okay? What you want to do is go ahead and put them into the same directory as your ROMs. Okay. So put exec, grom, and intellivoice. And that should be it. Doink. There you go. Okay. This one I'm going to rename because I like everything to be the exact same. So actually, what did they call it? iVoice. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Captain Obvious. Okay, gotta love Windows. Okay, I voice. I'm not sure if that really matters, but you know, I don't like to leave things to chance. <laughs> they said over here it should be Grum or this or you know, I voice or that or exec.bin, so I'm gonna rename them. Uh, and then, oh, I forgot ECS. Uh, copy that one over there too. And is that an INT as well? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, ECS.bin. Got it here. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. So, now they match. So, exec.bin, grom.bin, 
I voice step in, EC step in, so we are good to go. So these are the ones that I'll actually zip up and put up um, so for you guys to download. That way you guys don't have to rename it and worry about all that crap. Hey. Okay, that ought to save you some time, guys. <laughs> okay, look, once you put your BIOS files into the ROMs folder, you also want to put your games in the same folder. Okay, it's kind of like the Neo Geo uh, BIOS that goes in the same folder as ROMs. And I can't wait. I want to play like Super Pro Football, Zaxxon, uh, Baseball. Uh, man, there are so many cool games for the Intellivision. It really was a solid system. And uh, it brought one of the first console wars, I think, you know, ever. It wasn't like, you know, Sega does what Nintendo don't kind of thing. But, you know, Intellivision really brought it against... Uh, uh, Atari. They really took it to them, but in the end they lost uh, just because of the uh, titles that Atari had, like Space Invaders and Pac-Man and stuff like that. But And television is a great system, so let's go check it out. So these are some of the games that I got. What we're going to do is pull out the card, we're going to go in there, we're going to boot up the Wii, and we're going to launch this emulator from Homebrew, and we're going to see how it goes and if there's any issues. And then we're going to get to the box art, guys. All right, so you got your SD card in, you got your BIOS files, you got your ROMs files, and we're going to launch it from Homebrew. Make sure it works before we go into Wii Flow. All right, so, oh, I was already there. There it is. Launch it with the A button, load it up. All right, and hit A to continue. All right, on the top, it gives you some usage. You can press up and down. Uh, the reason, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it flickers sometimes as you're moving around. Uh, it's an old command line kind of interface. So when you're actually hitting down, it's redrawing the screen to show the arrow there. Okay, It's not actually moving a cursor. So that's why it's flickering. It's just redrawing the screen. It's an older way of doing it, but pretty cool. Um, anyway, so up and down. You can do left and right to uh, skip ahead by 20 ROMs at a time. I only have 16, my favorites. <laughs> uh, if you want to configure your controllers, you just hit the plus sign. And then you can, you know, switch it between the classic GameCube or Nunchuck Wiimote, you know, kind of setup. Okay? For uh, controllers 1 and 2. Okay. So, uh, let's test out one of the ROMs. Uh, oh, Masters of the Universe, yes. So, A is to launch it. <clears throat> now, if you're old enough to actually know this cartoon, then you know this tune. 1983 Mattel. Now back in the day, Intellivision was one of the few gaming systems that actually had music. Okay, And even half the games for the Intellivision don't have music, but uh, it was one of the first systems that had it. Okay, so hit A, skill level, default, whatever. And let's play. I don't know what the buttons are, so I'm going to figure this out. Um, okay, R is shoot. What's a bomb? Okay, there it is. R2 is bomb. Got Skeletor. Oh, it's got auto fire. You can hold it. Die Skeletor. <gasps> I don't know if those are asteroids or what those are, but. <laughs> Get out of here. Got him again. No! <laughs> oh, that was like a direct hit. Got you again. Got him again. Doggone it. Anyway, you guys get the picture. Um, to get out of a game, just hit the home button. That's how you get to the main menu. Uh, you know, and from here you can, you know, pick another game. Let's try one more just for fun. Uh, basketball. Why not? Basketball is pretty cool. It actually had people moving around the screen. <laughs> Now, this is by default a two player game, so the other guy is just going to have to not do anything. <laughs> so, that's me on the left. Doop, 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 doop. What you got? What you got? Oh, he stole it? Just give it, give it a ball. Let's go for a three point shot. Oh, two points! That was. Okay, I'm quitting. That was a three point shot. <laughs> So anyway, uh, you press the home button again to exit out of the menu, okay, and that'll take you back to homebrew. So we're good to go. Let's go get WeFlow working and some box art, guys. Okay, so now let's get WeFlow going.
So remember, under apps, uh, the JZINTV folder, we downloaded the ROM, or sorry, the emulator. So boot.doll. Now, most of the time, WeFlow will already have an emulator for it. So if you go under WeFlow plugins and you scroll down, you're going to see, most likely, depending on the version that you got, you're going to see, there it is, JZINTV Wii.doll. So you can either use the one uh, that you downloaded or use the one that came with WeFlow. You know, I don't know if this one works. The one that we just tested was this one. I know it works. So I am going to paste it in here. You don't have to do this. If you want to use the one that's in WeFlow, go for it. But anyway, I just replaced the doll file with this one. I didn't want to keep it boot.doll because, you know, there's tons of emulators in here. You got to name them so you know which one is doing which. So now we got to configure it. So I open everything in WordPad. <clears throat> I already have Atari 2600 emulator running on my Wii. So I'm going to use it as a template guide and let's go over some stuff. So ROM dir, right? Let's start from the bottom. ROMs. They're in Wii 2600 ROMs. Okay. I don't know if you guys remember from some of my other videos, but that is from the root. ROM dir is one of the few variables that is all the way from the root. So the root of your USB or your SD card. So there's Wii 2600, there's ROMs, okay? So in our case, for Intellivision, they're under JZINTV Wii ROMs. Oh, that's cool. It actually had the uppercase already set for me. I changed mine originally, remember? Because I was wondering if I'd forget or do it wrong. Uh, the doll file, uh, JZINT Wii it says check that real quick. That'll be under your plugins, under WeFlow. And there it is, JZINTV, WII.doll, WII.doll. Okay, so that checks. All right, next, file types. It will play .int for Intellivision or bin files. Uh, and then we have to look at our cover folder. So under here, we will create a new folder, JZINTV for Intellivision. We oui. all right, so we're gonna get some box covers. Uh, GBA Temp is a great place to get box covers. Uh, standard spine will work; doesn't really matter. Pick the ones that you want or need, and put them in this folder right here. Okay, so click it. Does that look good to you? It looks great to me. Look at that sliding the umpire. I mean, it made you really want to play the game. You know, uh, box covers. These are pretty cool. So go ahead and download it, and here we go. Okay, so, paste. One of the things that it's missing, of course, is .int.png, okay? So you gotta do that, because the name of the game is .int. So we'll do one more, say that. So actually you can go over here and just click download, it's a little faster. Cool, download. So. And cut that one out of there and we're gonna put it we flow box covers jzint so let's check the name real quick it's missing the int so nba basketball 1978 mattel int.png cool okay so i'm not gonna go through all of these guys let's just do two of these real quick quick recap under we flow under plugins okay you want to make sure that you put your ROM in here, or you can just use the ROM that's in here if you trust it. Okay, and that the name of the emulator is what you typed in here for doll file that they match. Okay, ROM dir, you got to go create that. Okay, and um, or not create it, the you have to go make sure that it's mapped correctly and that the name is correct. So you check that. Okay, and then under box covers. You do have to create this folder. This is the one I was talking about. You have to create the cover folder, JZINTVW, or whatever you want to call it. You just call it Intellivision if you want. I just keep everything kind of similar. Um, and then make sure that folder is created, which it is. And we'll go back to that real quick. And when you do download your box art for each of the games, just make sure that the naming convention is .int or .bin or, you know, whatever and uh, dot .png at the end, and that's it. So let's go test. What the wee flow. There it is, sheesh. Television. Okay, so select your partition. 
Mine is on the SD, yours is, you know, wherever. Yeah. Okay, now, remember the name at the top of the file? That's what we're actually going to be picking. Okay, so, oh, cool. So it's already got it selected. JZINTV, we. All right. Okay, back. We should see something. Yay! I see baseball. I see dead people. Okay, so baseball, huh? Look at this, whoops. Turn it up so we can hear the sounds. There we go. Oh yeah, let's make sure it plays. Yes, sorry we flow, it plays. Now that's interesting. I told it to play and it took me to the menu anyway. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Anyway, guys, it works. Does the game still work? Yes. Okay. I gotta make a three-pointer. At least one. Doo -doo -doo. I'm just gonna make believe I'm the 1992 Chicago Bulls. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Get off me. Get off me. Where are you at? Man, their defense is good. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 no. Ha <laughs> I stole it. Oh my, I got blocked. It bounces all the way to him. Yes! Okay, good. Now I'm happy. <laughs> so I hit the home button to get out. Hit the home button again. Hopefully, it should go back to Wii Flow, and it does. Cool. All right, guys, we got Master of the Universe finally playing. We got Wii Flow happy. Hopefully you guys had some fun. Hopefully you guys learned something. This was a subscriber requested video, which is something that me and Tony uh, like to do. So we have three, I think three or four more uh, subscriber requested videos among the other ones that we're trying to do. So we'll get to them when we get to them. Just be patient. But anyway, guys, hopefully you learned something. Have some fun with Intellivision. It's a great system. Until next time, see you. Off we go. I need to stop this thing. It's still recording. <laughs> Alright. Ah, this is like take four. I keep stumbling over my own words. Anyway. Uh, uh, okay, take six. Maybe I'll get it right. <laughs> keep messing this part up. Well, daggum, daggum. I think I need to hurry up and load up.